Hello, welcome to our words of encouragement. Uh, today, I'm still in school, by the way. Uh, through Duke, I'm doing everything online, much like I'm talking to you. Uh, and so part of my reading has been about Julia Foote. Uh, she's the first or second woman to be ordained in the Methodist Episcopal Church. But she's really influenced by the concept of complete sanctification, that our accepting Christ, our being baptized into the body of Christ, our piece of becoming who we are isn't just a moment in time. It is a, about a piece of real change. And so I wanted to share with you two verses of Scripture and give you a word of encouragement today. He said, For the law, I died to the law so that I might live for God. I have been crucified with Christ. I no longer live, but Christ lives in me. The life I now live in the body, I live by faith in the Son of God, who loved me and gave himself for me. Verse 21 goes on to say, I do not set aside the grace of God, for if righteousness could be gained through the law, a la the following of rules and just being good enough, then Christ died for nothing. He said, I, I, I came to Christ so that he might make a new person in me. And so I, I guess the challenge and the encouragement is, look back and see how you have been changed. Where's the spots that Christ is working on that, sanctifying, making me perfect and whole in him? Where's that happen? Where's the growth? I think there's always a piece of sanctification in, in my growing, in my, my dying to Christ, so that I might have faith in life. I think there is always a piece and a process of how I should continue to be. Where are the areas that I need to grow? Where are the areas that Christ is still trying to say, John, that thought right there didn't match who I made you to be. So as I sit here in the midst of trying to do school and, and in our, our COVID world, I'm still challenged that Christ is moving me on to perfection. It's a John Wesley theme. Uh, Julia Foote understood it well, uh, that we were always moving forward. I, had, you know, I say it this way. I have been sanctified. I am being sanctified. I will be sanctified completely on the other side. But understand we're part of the process. We're in that process. That's part of who God has called us to be because I have been saved. And so therefore I am moving in sanctification. I'm moving in my holy journey into Christ to live into that fully and completely. So take a moment and reflect today how God has grown you, how God has moved you. And then ask him, God, where are you asking me to move today? What's the next step that I can take that makes me look more like you, less like me? Let me die to self. Because uh, Julie Foote said, you know, I did all of this. And she said, then that old man was thrown off. It refers back to Romans 6, 6, where the Christ, where Christ has died for us and Satan, that old life, is thrown away. So continue to throw that old man of Satan and sin off. Be sanctified by the blood and faith of Jesus Christ. Amen. God bless. Music